Chip Heath, Made to Stick, Why Some Ideas Survive and Others Die. Welcome to the essence of a made to stick, why some ideas survive and others die by Chip Heath. This book summary provides valuable insights into how you can create memorable and impactful ideas that truly stick with the audience. Learn the importance of simplifying complex ideas into easy to understand statements, capturing attention through the unexpected, and making use of curiosity gaps to keep your audience intrigued. Discover effective communication techniques, establish credibility, and evoke emotions to prompt action. All these aspects come together to help you tailor your message for maximum resonance. The Art of Simplifying Ideas When it comes to sticky ideas, too much detail is counterproductive. The key is to encapsulate the core idea in simple terms that anyone can understand, without changing the meaning. Journalists master this skill with their attention-grabbing headlines. A great example of this is Southwest Airlines' slogan, The Low Fare Airline. A catchy statement like this will stick, while a complex comparative breakdown of their prices would be forgotten. So, the art of simplifying ideas is to cut them down to just one simple statement, making them easier to grasp and understand. Power of the Unexpected Our brain often runs on autopilot, ignoring routine things but jolts into attention when encountering unexpected events. The unexpected grabs our full attention, making us remember it better. By presenting ideas in unexpected or striking ways, we give them the attention they deserve instead of ignoring them due to familiarity. This concept can be applied in various scenarios to capture people's attention effectively. The Power of Curiosity Gaps To spread an idea, it's essential to capture and maintain people's attention. One proven way to do this is by using curiosity gaps, creating spaces in people's understanding that they feel compelled to fill. Curiosity gaps are effective because they disrupt people's autopilot mode and pique their interest with something they don't know yet. This technique is widely used in detective novels and celebrity gossip magazines, where tantalizing clues and red herrings keep readers engaged. To create an effective curiosity gap, surprising facts and figures can be used to open a pitch or presentation and stick in the audience's mind. Curiosity gaps ultimately help overcome the two main challenges of spreading an idea, getting people's attention and keeping it. The Power of Concreteness People tend to use abstract language when expressing themselves, assuming that others have the same knowledge as they do. A classical experiment using tunes on a table revealed that this assumption is wrong. To ensure that our messages are received and understood, we need to use concrete language, understandable terms, and descriptive imagery. Abstract terms only make sense to those with the same level of knowledge and aren't likely to be remembered. For instance, the fox that couldn't reach the grapes didn't alter his tastes, he convinced himself that the grapes were sour. By using concrete expressions, we can make our ideas more memorable and more likely to be shared. Spreading Ideas Effectively Ideas can only spread if they are believed and credibility can be gained through realistic facts and figures, stories told by trustworthy people, and using the audience as a reference point. The book emphasizes how the spread of ideas is dependent on their credibility. The book explains several ways to gain credibility when spreading information. Experts can back up a story or a message, but an expert doesn't necessarily have to possess a doctorate or wear a lab coat. For example, an anti-smoking campaign featured a woman in her late 20s who'd smoked since 10 years old. Now facing her second lung transplant, she looked fragile and elderly, which added credibility to her story. Stories told by real, trustworthy people are essential for gaining credibility when sharing information. Realistic facts and figures can also aid in this process, but it's important only to use them if they paint a concrete non-abstract picture because over-reliance on statistics can be confusing. The audience itself can be a reference point to bestow credibility. Ronald Reagan's electoral slogan directly addressed the audience, ask yourself, are you better off now than you were four years ago? People trust their judgment more than that of an expert, so if the audience can personally verify your message, it's particularly credible. 
The anti-war campaign that claims the world's current nuclear arsenal has 5,000 times the explosive power of the bomb that destroyed Hiroshima is an excellent example of successful application of statistics. The reference to destruction at Hiroshima makes the message relatable, and it challenges the audience to imagine 5,000 times that force, which is incomprehensible and underlines their essential idea that nuclear proliferation has gone too far. Emotional triggers over facts. When it comes to donation appeals, two approaches can be taken. Statistics and analytics appeal to the analytical part of our minds but rarely inspire action, while appealing to emotions can drive us to take action. Pictures of a single child in need can be more effective in urging a donation than graphs and numbers. Emotions are the main driving force behind human behavior, not reason and statistics. Therefore, the message needs to appeal directly to the audience's emotions if the aim is to inspire action. For instance, a campaign against smoking will have a more considerable impact with pictures of the damage caused by cigarettes than with numbers on mortality rates. Focus on emotions instead of dry facts and figures to present ideas effectively. Emotional appeals in marketing Emotional appeals in marketing work because they capitalize on people's interest in themselves. Companies should not simply list a product's features, but show customers how the features could benefit them personally. Successful campaigns have capitalized on this mindset by making users connect emotionally with their role models. The phrase, don't mess with Texas, was popularized through campaigns featuring local athletes and celebrities, connecting young people with their role models and emphasizing their shared identity. By tapping into people's self-interest and emotions, effective marketing campaigns can motivate them to act in a way that benefits themselves. The Power of Storytelling Our brains are wired to respond to stories, making them a powerful tool for inspiring action. Slogans may be catchy, but stories are what truly stick with us. Take the story of Jared Fogel, whose weight loss journey transformed Subway's profits. Good stories often follow patterns, such as David and Goliath, challenges, Good Samaritan, acts of kindness, and stories of creative inspiration like Newton's theory of gravity. By incorporating stories and examples into our ideas, we can capture people's attention and encourage them to take action. In conclusion, Made to Stick offers a powerful framework for transforming your ideas into memorable and actionable messages. Master the art of simplification, use unexpected elements to grab attention, and leverage curiosity gaps to keep your audience engaged. Ensure your message is concrete, credible, and appeals to emotions. Utilize stories and personal connections to make your message relatable and inspire action. By incorporating these principles in your communication, you'll be able to create sticky ideas that live on and make a lasting impact on your audience.